Hey guys, it's Edward here, and today I'll be showing you how to make an image um, transparent in Photoshop. Um, this doesn't require any specific Photoshop versions. Uh, if you have CS, CS2 to CS6, this can work. I'm not sure about CS1 though, um, but for sure CS2 through CS6, as I've tested it on all of them. But um, yeah, so what you want to do is you want to what you want to do is you want to um, open your browser and you want to find an image so uh, or if you already have an image that you want to make transparent uh, make sure to have it and then open Photoshop so I'm just gonna let it open right now while I find an image um, let's see smiley face <clears throat> so uh, as you can see there's a bunch of smiley faces on here um, let's find one that is not trans, not transparent already. Uh, let's see. This one. Usually you can just tell if you, yep. Alright. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. So, Photoshop's open now. You want to hit Control O, or File Open, and you want to find your image. So, here I have my image. What you want to do is you want to double click on the right right where the lock is click OK you can rename that layer to whatever you want I just have it to layer 0 now what you want to do is you want to have the quick selection tool you want to hold it down so it opens this this little drop down kind of menu thing and you want to hit magic wand tool that what you want to do is you want to t change the tolerance to around 100 depending on the size of your picture so if your picture is probably half of this, then you want to definitely change to 50. But um, I'll show you how the tolerance works. So what you want to do is click the background. For example, as you can see here, it just has everything highlighted. So it has the background and also the smiley. So if I press delete, you have a transparent image. And press control D and it deselects. So let's go back to that. Um, okay, so I have this. Make sure you have your magic wand tool. And for example, if you were going to change your tolerance to, to around 25, click it. Oh, that works. So around any of this works. Maybe if you're going to choose one, which is pretty stupid, but as you can see only this part here I'm trying to have it highlighted for you guys but only this part right here only this part right here is highlighted so there's not really a point to having it to one but um but um yeah so uh should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, make sure you have your magic wand tool. Make sure you have your tolerance to whatever you would like. Around 50 to 100 is good. Sometimes I have to set it to 150. Um, but uh, I'm just going to set it to 100 as I know it's going to work right now. You click the background. Don't click the smiley inside. Just click the background where you want to delete. Hit delete. And you have it right there. And then if you want to remove the dash or the highlighting part around the edges simply click control D and you're good so uh, and then all you have to do is save it and do whatever you want to it so I hope you guys learned something and I'll see you guys in the next video